With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see flexible, easy data pipelines with Cloud Composer, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. If you're a company dealing with loads of complex data, then chances are you deal with a whole set of computational workflows in your computing environment. For example, let's say you had a lot of on-prem files that you needed to push up to cloud storage. And each time you did, you wanted to load the data into BigQuery and run an ETL query, which notifies the Slack channel when progress is complete with a link to the logs from the work. Now, traditionally, creating and managing these types of workflows on Google Cloud Platform was a cumbersome operation that ranged from easy and inflexible, like using cron simple tasks, to really complex frameworks that might require a team of engineers to build and get right. Thankfully, Cloud Composer has recently been released to general availability to make all of that a whole lot easier. At its core, Cloud Composer is a scalable service built on the open source project Apache Airflow meaning that you can still focus on authoring Airflow workflows, while GCP makes creating, managing, and deploying your workflows much easier. It works like this. Cloud Composer orchestrates your workflow by using directed acyclic graphs, or DAGs, which are the representation of tasks that Airflow needs to run, including all of the relationships and dependencies involved. And to facilitate this orchestration, composers use Python to let you dynamically create powerful pipelines quickly and collaborate alongside anyone familiar with the language. Of course, running on Google Cloud means that your tasks have access to the full suite of Google services, including access to the Developer Console, Cloud SDK, Identity Aware Proxy, Stack Driver, IAM, and more. But one of the best things is that Cloud Composer gives you the ability to connect your pipeline through a single orchestration tool, whether your workflow lives on premises, in multiple clouds, or fully within GCP. The ability to author, schedule, and monitor your workflows in a unified manner means that you can break down the silos in your environment and focus less on infrastructure. Now, in the full talk, the speakers give a great example of the core process of how to use Composer, including a live demo of getting a workflow up and running. Check out the full talk linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.